This is the Quicksilver Pro at Fox Sports as we see Adrian Ace Buckin exit a barrel ride on the backhand in the non-priority heat. He is the 2008 Quicksilver France Pro champ. And Adrian Ace Buckin starting with a bang in his heat against Connor Coffin. 0.27 at his low, but look at this. Backhand skills from Ace Buckin. Barrel rider, we know that he can do it on both the forehand and the backhand and loves the French beach breaks. So he'd be coming into this one fired up. It's incredibly hard to find a barrel, and not only that, just a wave to give you any type of substance. Well, well done for making it work anyways. Coming up in the next round, you got Julian Wilson. What are your thoughts? The European Junior Champion rides for Quicksilver. It's a Quicksilver event. Connor Coffin. <laughs> and we talked about the high tide mark right on the shore. It seems like every surfer just running out of their finishing maneuver. There's the need for Medina, 4.62. And Ace Bucking just straightening out. And when we talk about Sand Peak, basically, the more coarse the sand, the bigger the grains are in the sand. The battle of the rookies in the non-priority heat. Priority heat, white jersey. Ace Bucket is currently in the lead over Connor Coffin. Ace looking to just get rid of a fractional score that he has in his scoreline of a half a point, and he's going to do that with that last ride. Another surfer you'd mentioned about that high heat IQ is Ace Bucking. Always solid in every performance at every event. You know, he can be a winner on each and every single event that's on the schedule. Figure out if anyone's around you, <laughs> and then you got to get yourself behind it. As we watch the split peak here, so you would have noticed that Connor went left on this one, and he's going to pick up a nominal number for that. But really, looking at Seth. Score came in for Seth Moniz during that interview, a 6.17, so in the non-priority heat. Seth Moniz with a strong lead over Pedersen Crisanto. Priority heat, Ace Buckin pulls into a barrel. Can he find the exit? Almost does, had to fight for that one. So ultimately, you, you, I guess uh, you make hay while the sun shines, as they say. We never know what the game field is gonna look like the next day. That is one of the wonderful thing and challenging things about surf competition. So that's a design that Kelly's been riding for geez, over a decade now with the fuller templates on the front two fins and the narrower, more rake template in the trailer. Right into the tube, Connor Coffin. Can he find an exit? And that was unfortunate. Chose to go for that second section and unable to find a way out. It's his rotation, his speed of his rotation. He has such a quick spin. Connor Coffin. Backhand hack, oh, and that's what he's going to get, and that's what he's going to lean upon to get a 6.7. That's his need to take over the lead from Ace Bucket in the priority heat. Again, it's a closeout, so he has to time it perfectly. He hooks it right in the critical section there, early enough to be able to get the full, like, rip of the fins through the lip. It's extended, not able to pull it off. I mean, it, to me, he did the hard work. He was able to get through. You know, it's going to affect the score no matter what because you want to have a clean exit coming out of a barrel to really get the maximized points out of it. This is a good angle here to get a, a bit more of a viewpoint of what happens. I mean, he literally has everything land on top of him. And I would say that he's going to get control for that. And with the countdown, we are going to see the 2008 Quicksilver Pro champ, Ace Bucking, continue his role here in the 2019 Quicksilver Pro France.